Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. It's like a little filler episode. If you guys are watching the show, you're like, ah, oh, this episode has nothing to do with anything. This is what this is, a filler episode basically for the channel. My Fantasy Draft Review. As you guys know, um, I'm a big fan of football, of course. I love playing fantasy football. I started my fantasy football league when I was in high school. That was back in 2000, 2018, I think 18, 18 or 19-ish, right around that. Um, like it was like junior, I think it was either it was sophomore, junior, or something like that. I think junior year, yeah, junior year. I uh, started my team, I mean, started my fantasy league, and it's been going on ever since. And I'm a one time champion in the league, I've been to two championships, uh, had the most wins in the league and the most playoff wins as well. Um, uh, last year I missed the playoffs, which was crazy, but um, I, I go out there and try to do a pretty good job in fantasy. And this year we had another league, you know, we always do 12 people most of the time. We had 14 one time, but we always do 12, I try to stay in 12 range like that. Um, but it was very cool, very cool. And um, my players I drafted are some very good players, some very good guys, and I'm um, ready to go out there and dominate. And also, on the Steelers little roster cut, the final rosters um thing come out on Tuesday, so I have a video on Tuesday coming about that. Um, stay tuned for that as well. And I got some Steelers um hype videos coming and some cool stuff coming as well. Then the game picks, you know, not this week that's coming up, but the following week and previews and all that type of stuff is happening. Um, the, the live watch party for the 49ers game is going to be coming, so we got a lot of content coming, so stay on the lookout for it. But the quarterbacks I have on my team in fantasy football, I have Joe Burrow. Yes. I know you guys are probably saying, well, you're a Steeler fan. You know, you got the enemy quarterback. I know it's the enemy quarterback, but Joe Burrow is an amazing player. Amazing player. And in fantasy football, he always destroyed me. Uh, last year, it's a team that's called the Mississippi Vipers in our league. It was my, the team with my aunt. And... They destroyed me last time. Yes, destroyed me badly. On um, Joe Burrow went crazy. He had it was one game he had like forty five fantasy points. I was like, come on, man. And then the following year before that, same thing. As I lost in the championships to Joe Burrow. So this time, I got him on my team, and I also got as a second quarterback on my team. I had to get the boy Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett on the team. I feel like he'll have a big time year this season with the Steelers. He's going out there and balling out. They got new O line, some more weapons on the offense. So I think he can go out there and ball out. Running backs, I got another enemy. I got another enemy running back. He's a very good running back. Probably the best, if not one of the best, if not the best running back in the league. And that's Nick Chubb. I got Nick Chubb on my roster. He's very good. And I also got the boy, Najee Harris, on the roster as well. So I have Nick Chubb and Najee Harris. Imagine that in real life. <laughs> good luck. That's what, that's what you got to say. Good luck. I got Nick Chubb, Najee Harris, Alvin Kamara. He's suspended for the first three games, but it's on three games. You know, we, we got almost um, 17 games in this, this season, so he only suspended for three games. I'll take it. And I got Jamal Williams as well. So I got two Saint players. So the bye week time when they come around, be a little hectic, a little bit for me, depending on – it's still his bye week. is week six. I think the Browns is week five, if I'm not mistaken, unless it's um, later down the line. But my running backs look pretty stacked. Receiver, I have Debo Samuel. Um, I have Gabriel Davis. I have Cam Sutton and Tyler Boyd. Um, Debo Samuel, you know, is, is, is nice. Um, Davis is um, solid too, pretty good. Cam Sutton, pretty good as well. And Tyler Boyd, solid and pretty good too. So my receivers not like super stardom like receivers like Justin Jefferson or Stephon Diggs or Devontae Adams. But I still have some guys who are very capable of going off and making some big-time plays for you in fantasy and getting you over the hump. Tied in, I have Evan Ingram. And I got, um, I don't know his first name, is it John Johnson? But uh, Johnson from the Saints. I know last year, he had uh, the last six, seven games, he started heating up a little bit and showing you a little – a um, little bit of um, his um, play style. So I got him to the team. Uh, Evan Ingram was on the team as well. Evan Ingram did pretty good last year for the Jaguars. So I got him on my team as well. So I drafted him. Um, for defense, I have, of course, the Steelers defense. I, I have one, two, three, three Steelers um, players, on, well, three Steelers things on, on the team. I got the defense. I got Harris and I got Pickett. So I have the Steelers defense. Steelers defense, I always get them every year. Every year in fantasy, I've gotten the Steelers defense because of sacks. They get those, they get those big time sacks. And a lot, of, you know, a lot of turnovers in the sacks. In our league, we do two points for a sack. So those sacks add up. The Steelers are going out there getting five sack gains. Those add up and help you in the long run. Um, and my kicker is Jake Elliott. Jake Elliott from the Eagles. The Eagles score a lot of points. I, you know, they always had a kicker ranking, but the Eagles score a lot of points. So he'd have an opportunity to go out there and get some field goals, get some PATs, and like build his points up as well. And in our league, we have bonuses for longer field goals. So like 50 yard field goals, I think it's, um, I think it's five points for 50 yards, right? Five points for 50 yards, and everything else. Uh, everything 50 50 yard plus is five points uh everything um inside the 50 
is um three points in our league like that. So getting a guy who can kick long field goals, you know, Jake Elliott, kick some big time field goals, some game winning field goals. Um, and he's a very good kicker, so got him on the team as well. But my team is pretty good. You know, having Burrow out there, Chubb, Harris, Kamara, Steelers defense, all these guys, Debo Samuel. My team is stacked. I don't think I need to go out there and make a trade for anybody. My I don't think I'm kinda of worried about maybe a little bit is I know Evan Ingram did good last year. Now that's his um a real good year he had with the Jaguars. Um, but if you look at his uh, whole resume, you know, with the Giants, he had he was all right. He was up and down a lot. So hopefully my tight end position is good. But I think my running back positions, my running back group will be able to carry my fancy team. And, um, of course, having Joe Burrow and Kenny Pickett and the Steelers defense out there, too, should help out a lot as well. So I'm very pumped up on my fancy team. Um, I know the league, the season starts um, the September 7th, right? The first game is the the Lions and the Chiefs. So I'm very pumped up about the NFL season. Not you no, know, just for my you no, know, for the Steelers and for the NFL entirety for fantasy football and just like bring the football is back. You know, football is a very good sport of competitiveness. You know, seeing the players you know oppose their will, another team and strategy and all this stuff that goes into the game. I'm very pumped up and excited for it. But that's all I got for this video today, guys. Let me know down in the comment section down below what your team looks like if you drafted in fantasy. Um, let me know who your quarterback, your receivers, your running backs, and all that. Let me know your roster looks like. Um, is a if you um, you grade your roster at A or you grade your roster at F? Let me know. Let me know. Um, but I'll see you guys probably on Tuesday when we do the roster cuts. Um, and yeah. Until then, peace out.